two-time U.S. Open nine-ball champion. Dynamite, Darren Appleton. I came from the mud. Looks good. Looks good. It is good. The most important one was winning the World Ten Ball Championship because it's everyone's dream to be world champion. Could go into the edges. Grinder, fighter, play with a lot of emotion, a lot of art. Hello guys, welcome back. And today I've got something a little bit different. This is one of my favourites. and It's all about speed control, is this drill. So I'm going to call it the Zone to Zone Ultimate Speed Control Drill. The reason why, because it's not really a safety drill, but it is. Uh, but really, we're, we're just trying. We're just trying to get the balls in their zone after every shot. So that's the difficult part about it. If you just have to get one of the balls in the zones, it, it's a lot easier. Uh, but when you've got to control the cue ball and the object ball in the same shot, creating distance, then your cue ball control is going to really improve. And the good thing with this drill, you can play it against an opponent, which is a lot more fun actually, because you're going to be trying to make it as difficult as you can for each other after every shot. Uh, and leave your opponent in tricky situations but uh, but you're going to learn to be creative you're going to learn more about cue ball but also it's going to benefit you in real time when you play matches whether that's rotation or especially one pocket uh, so i really like this drill and if you're playing it alone then obviously you might just play 10 15 minutes a day just uh, playing these shots getting the getting each each ball in their zone and uh, it to give you a really good feel for the table, a really good feel for the cue ball and the object ball, and getting the speed down, playing different variations of shots, whether that's banking the ball, uh, playing two or three rails, playing a lot of kick shots. Uh, so that's why I really like this drill, because it's all done on feel. You can be very creative. Uh, and like I said, if, if you've got an opponent, then they're great. Uh, but also, when I'm playing it alone, I'd, I'm, I'm just always trying to beat my personal best score. Uh, quite can't quite remember what my personal best score is, but it's definitely in the 40s, which is no mean feat. So I think if you're getting anywhere between 10 to 20 at any level is really good. Uh, so yeah, it's a really good drill. The rules are very simple. So basically, you start with the white ball on that spot there. The, the, the one ball on this spot and after every shot the cue ball after hitting the one ball has got to stay in this section of the table so that's this zone here and then the one ball has got to be in this zone here at the bottom half and then after I played the first shot I then play the one ball which is already in that zone and I've got to get that one ball back to this zone and keep the white ball in this zone here so it's very straightforward very simple rules rules but it's very easy to uh, to have a go it's not easy to execute but what it will do it will definitely definitely improve your game and your cue ball control but more importantly your speed control so anyway i'll go into it i hope you like it and uh, hopefully i do decent right so let's give it a go guys so the first shot here just below center of the cue ball we're a touch of right about a tip of right and what I'm trying to do is get the object ball around this diamond and the cue ball on this diamond. I failed to do that, so I've massively over hit the balls. But they're in the zone, so that's good. So here, it's just a straightforward bank the ball back up table, but play with right English. Reason why, because then I can avoid that scratch. If I played that plain ball, I would have scratched in this pocket. This is sitting nice to play a kick shot. Or I could just bank it up and down, but I'm going to kick it it. Come underneath it. So I on the cue ball with a bit of left. Just missed the one ball on the way there. Just like that. Hopefully this one ball slows down. It's in the zone. But what I like about kicking that ball over than banking it is that you're sticking the cue ball there. So nothing fancy here. Just make sure that I get the zones. Again, can't hit that ball too thin. Otherwise I would scratch. So you've got to really put a good stroke on that. And um, this is what I really like about this drill. It's great for speed ball, uh, speed control, controlling the object ball and the cue ball. And if you've got an opponent, then I think it's a perfect drill because you can play for a little bit of fun. You can play a race or you can even play for a little bit of money. So I'm going to bank this up and down again, just a touch of left. Hopefully that cue ball holds up. Remember, it's only got to break the line, which it's managed to do. That was a tricky shot there. 
And I've left this tricky also because you, because when you're straight in like this, you've got to be careful to avoid the double kisses. So I'm going to have to kick at this. So high on the cue ball. Just with a touch of left. Played it pretty nicely. And whenever you're kicking at these shots, it's very important to play high on the cue ball and not low. I see too many amateurs playing low on the cue ball. And then you, it's hard to control the cue ball because it takes a different path off the rail, but also usually the cue ball will go forward or you hit the, the object ball too thin and you leak the balls out. So again, I come back this up, up and down again, but we just with a touch of left. Yeah, it caught it a bit too thin there, but the left hand English saved me from scratching. If I didn't put any English on that shot, I would have scratched. Again, here I can bank it up and down or I can kick at the ball. I'm just going to bank it just with a touch of left. Right, bad speed on that shot, but still made the zones. Because if you're playing a rotation here and you've got other balls on the table, that 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 could be a good shot. You might have a snooker. So uh, don't uh, think you've got to be perfect all the time. It's just all about speed control, making the zones. And making it as hard as you can for the next shot, really. Oh, I think this one's too hard. Try to kill it. But it's it way too hard. But as you can see, straight away, that's a lot more difficult than what you think. But it will really help you out with your speed control. So anyway, let's have one more go. Same shot again. Just below centre, touch your right. Try and split the ball so that they're straight in line with each other after this shot. It makes the incoming shot a lot more difficult for your opponent. So same again here, nothing fancy. Just bank it up and down. Just trying to make sure I make the zones. So here, touch a left, up and down again. All right, so plenty of right English on this. Make sure I don't eat it too fat. Just like that. Managed to hold the cue ball in the zone. It's only going to break the line, so that's okay. And again, if you're playing one pocket here, this is a great shot. Because the only shot I've got here is a kick shot. So it's high on the cue ball. Touch it right there. Played it nicely. So yeah, you play loads of different variations of shots. What you know you're going to play in rotation and uh, one pocket. Yeah, I put my, uh, my opponent in a lot of trouble here. Might be able to avoid the double kiss. We will see. Just. But is the one ball going to get there? I think just about. So I played that really well. So I slightly overcut that a little bit more than I would usually. But also make sure I've got the spin on the cue ball. Just to slow it down fractionally off the rail. Straight up and down. We touch your left there. Played that one nicely. So again here, not easy, so I'm just going to make sure I make the zones. Remember, you can't make one of the balls. If you make one of the balls, you've got to restart again, and you, you lose that rack. But again, uh, you're playing one pocket here, you're in a tough spot, so I've got to kick at this again. Eye on the cue ball. Touch a right. Hopefully don't make the ball, which I did. If that was my uh, my my pocket playing one pocket, it'd be perfect. But anyway, let's have one more go. I think you've got the gist of it now. So just below centre, two rails, very right English. And try and get a good cue ball and an object ball, just like that. But like I say, it's really good for speed control. Different variations of shot shots. You've got to be very creative. And it's situations what you're going to be, what what you're going to be faced with, in a lot of matches you play. Right, so left this a little bit tricky. I think I can come underneath it enough, can I? Hmm, a bit tricky to kick at this. The scratch is very close to try and bank it up and down. So I'm going to have to play a slow kill shot here. Try and kill the cue ball. I think I played it pretty well. Those shots are so difficult. 
I can't explain really how difficult they are to control the speed on both balls. So if I was playing a match there and I just executed that shot the way I just did there, I'd be very happy. My game, really, I sort of pride myself on my cue ball control. I mean, uh, uh, especially from my peers, they all say about my I've got great cue ball control. Some people have uh, compared me to uh, uh, Buddy All, which is uh, probably the greatest compliment you can have, really. Anyway, eye on the cue ball here, touch your right, just like that. And you play a lot of kicks like this, so they just come so natural. You don't need no systems. You just play on all on feel. So here again, just try and make the zones because I'm in a tough situation. But remember, you can't make this ball. So I, I made the ball. Didn't put any big runs together, but as you can see, the benefits with playing this drill is uh, keeping the ball in this zone and the object ball in that zone, or vice versa. Just ro rotating across all the time. You're gonna you're gonna be very creative with your cue ball. You're gonna learn all sorts of different types of shots, all different types of execution with the cue ball, spinning the cue ball. Uh, learn how to kill the cue ball when it's not natural. All sorts of different variations of shots, kicking at the ball. Uh, and if you've got an opponent, then I think it's a perfect drill. But if you're on your own, I think it's good just just to put a ball on the table and just do this drill for like 10, 15 minutes a day. And it will definitely help you in those situations where where you've got to split split the balls and get distance. Be creative, and especially at the end game, uh, where you've got to try and where you're trying to get that distance and trying to get both balls safe. Uh, obviously, this drill is not really a safety drill because you're just trying to get the zones. It's more about speed control, uh, zone to zone, and uh, something what will really benefit you if, if you put the work in uh, when you get to those real match situations. Anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, please subscribe, uh, share my page, and uh, we'll keep putting the videos out there, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.